discussed about how to create the docker image by using spring boot 2.3.0 cloud native build bags okay so in this video i'm going to talk about so how to create the docker image by using this let's jar concept okay so which has been introduced in spring boot 2.3.0 okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you like how our jar is organized before i'm going to discuss about this layers concept i'm going to show you like how the jar is organized okay so let me go to target guys target directory so here if you see here we have three parts okay that is like um, uh, boot inf and we have uh, classes and the boot inf so this basically these classes are used to bootstrap jar loading and if you go, so go to inside this boot inf so we have boot, boot inf classes and boot, boot inf lib directory okay so your application classes inside this boot inf classes and dependencies inside this boot inf lib okay so now so i'm going to add this layers concept in palm.xml so layers enabled equal to two okay so now we can run maven package clean package let me skip the test guys okay true so now it will create some layers inside our application jar so uh, like dependencies on snaps or dependencies and resources on the application so i'm going to explain so how those will created and what are the things will available inside this layers okay so so it's creating now if you can observe here it is saying that adding 5x5 five five app layers okay so so whatever that existing layers are available so it's reusing so and it's adding only configuration okay so that is the reason it won't take much time so i will explain clearly guys once i modified this project okay so now so we have a um, one command guys by using that command jar mode command we can see the jar mode okay so layer tools and jar I think come out of this directory go to target directory okay so that is java and d jar mode layer tools okay and jar and our application jar okay so if you execute this so it will show some uh, available commands so see see here list and extract list the layers from the jar that can be extracted so and the extract extract the layers from the jar from the image creation so let me maximize this guys you will see okay and so i'm going to use the list command here so it will list out the layers so we will have like dependencies spring boot loader okay and the snaps are dependencies and the application okay so dependencies for the regular release regular release dependencies snapshot dependencies is for the snapshot dependencies okay and the application is for uh, application classes and the resources so, so these are the layers are available inside our jar so if you want to extract so you can extract by using extract command also see here extract okay now i have extracted and see we have something like application classes and dependencies okay so this is how like uh, it is extracted so whatever that layers we have seen the dependencies 
okay and the application and the snapshot dependencies these are extracted from this jar okay uh, and one one more thing like if you extracted by using a jar xf command okay so you will see inside this boot inf class boot inf directory let me create this So we have layers that idx. Okay, if you edit this, so you will see this how these are organized. So you can see clearly. So this layers dependencies, no snap and dependencies, application inside this application we have like boot and if classes, class path and layers that idx. Okay, and so now minimize this guys. So and one more thing is you we have so we can create the docker file so if you don't want to use our spring boot this late concept um, so if you want to use the docker file so you can use the docker file and if you can use this layers inside this layer jar so we have like dependencies in the snapshot dependencies in the application so you can use so multi-stage docker file here you okay, can to create the docker image so so it will also like saves a lot of time guys so if you use this multi stage docker file so let me come out from this okay so if you come out from this you can see like docker file so i have a docker file here guys so now i'm going to docker build okay and i'm going to give some name spring customized Docker. Okay, let me take another command that is so this Docker multi stage file also. So we will reuse the already existing layers. Okay, so so it will create. Okay, and if you modify this, so let me modify the code, guys. So if you modify this code. So only the particular modified code only. So I'm going to yard. I'm going to yard one test and point here. So let me save this. And if you run, I will clean package. So now only the particular layer will be modified so it will use reuse the existing layers and it will create the docker image so that is the benefit of this layer jar concept guys so so it will save a lot of time so the same thing will applicable for this multi stage docker file also so if we, you can use like either like multi stage docker file or like this layer concept by using this cloud native build bats also so for running the creator here okay see here so using four layers and adding only one layer that is application that, that we have modified okay so and the same thing so let me show yeah i'm going to create the docker image okay by using the multi-stage docker file here So here also it will reuse the existing layers so that is the reason like uh, this layer jar concept has been introduced guys so yeah so that's it guys so if you like this video so please do like and subscribe my channel thanks bye have a good day